So into our previous video, we have discussed about your OMS security and what kind of security it provides to you. Now here we are going to discuss about your network security. So as we know, we are going to create our network and we are going to expand our network into our infrastructure and the databases and other resources we are connecting using this networks. So obviously we will require a security on it. So what are kind of security we generally provide by using your Azure that we are going to see over here. Here, if you're providing your network security, very first it provides you a high availability and your network performance to your applications. But obviously, if you're providing the security, there will be no threats, they won't affect your systems and your networks. And the accessibility of this particular applications or any service or resource you have connected will be easily accessible to you and the performance will won't intact. Same way it distributes your incoming traffic among the healthy instance. As we have already seen about your load balancers. If you have configured your load balancers or if you have your system where generally you have created a backup system or additional or backup servers, it will direct your incoming traffic to those servers and distributes this traffic so that you have a minimum load on your each server you have connected. Along with that, it will provide you all these particular instances, all this particular you know, traffic coming in will be directed only to the healthy instance and it will ignore all the unhealthy or you know, failed instance. Along with that, your Azure load balancer, generally we have configured, it again use your incoming traffic where generally we cre create your traffic for your virtual machines where generally we can direct our incoming traffic to your virtual machines your virtual machines into your virtual machine networks external traffic we can split into your virtual machines so this is what exactly we can do to protect to our networks same way what are the benefits generally we have after using your azure network then it will provide you a deliver high availability and network performance to your applications it instantly add to your applications or scale your applications to different servers easily. Same way you can ensure a load balancers internal and private to your network traffic so that all the traffic coming in can be directed to different servers and your load games layer. Same way you have to improve your applications reliability and it also provides you a health check of this particular servers which you have connected. So there will be a routine check for the servers which you have connected into your load balancers. So if any servers getting failed or if they are not updated or the security compliances like your antivirus has been not updated, so it will ensure that it is updated, then your systems are treated as a healthy instance. Next again, if I talk about your flexible NAT rules, we can provide a security on your NAT. As we know, this NAT we generally use for connecting your systems over the internet by using a network translations where your private address will be translated into public same way vice versa your public will be translated into your network or your private network so this generally we have where generally we can create a flexible rules for the network connectivity and the traffic's coming in same way we can also integrate this particular devices or this particular networks directly to the virtual machines and your cloud services so that whenever we are using our networks we don't have to define any or devices like your external devices like your firewall or any other devices we can directly connect to your virtual machines and just deploy the rules and the policies of your network security and then it will secure your network same way you can also provide a native IP version 6 support to the particular users on the particular devices you have. So if you are using your IP version 6, obviously we know IP version 6 are very rarely in use and if you are using it, it adds an additional advantage and security to your networks which you have. So these are the features and these are the security we generally deploy to your network level security.